Hello everyone, welcome back to the ESEA Orange stream. We are going to continue this TF2 action all day long with the second matchup of the tournament. We have the second seed, Exertus XTS Gaming, versus the third seed, and I'd say favorite mix-up. Of course, these teams are down in Dallas playing in the ESEA LAN Championship Tournament. Uh, we are in the second round, and we are starting again on Viaduct. Over on camera, we have Truck Truck running production. We have Dashner. I am Bloodsire, and joining me is the awesome Australian. That's AA. I don't know if you knew that, Yuki. So, Yuki oh. AA, what's up? Oh, well, man. I, I, wow. So, that revelation, I just feel like at least two or three times better now. I can make my own, you know, cool Steam Group awesome Australians. It'll just have me in it, because so far I'm the only confirmed awesome Australian by Bloodsire. I'm going to print a redaction real quick. Um, because there are multiple dashes who run uh, uh, production in the TF2 community. We're actually, this is Meth Sad Dash, not Dashner who works over on XTV. So uh, my apologies to Dash Math Sad, uh, definitely not uh, Dashner. So thank you, thank you to him for uh, running the production. And uh, yes, yeah, so we do have a lot in the server. Um, so what, what are we going to see between these two teams? Why don't you start us off? Uh, hmm. We're going to see against these, with these two teams. I expect to see a bit more sniper in this game, I feel like on Viaduct at least. Um, I mean, I'd like to see some cannibal action. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some because Platinum was just talking about it earlier. Maybe he's just trying to psych, you know, the other team out and just say, yeah, cannibal is actually pretty good, guys. When in reality, he's like, nah, guys, it actually sucks. But he's just telling them it's good. He's just trying to lead them into a trap from sick mind games. But um, probably not. Probably just going to see a lot of... Probably we'll just see a lot of, you know, just standard, you know, two scouts, two soldiers, demo, medic kind of deal. But expect to see a lot of aggressive play, you know, a lot of fort holds coming out of both teams. And, um, a lot of surf rockets, especially by Harblue. And I wouldn't be surprised if he gets, like, you know, a needle kill or 10 as he just, like, gets himself into a precarious position and just tries to just duel someone and get out of it. Yep, wouldn't it be the first time. Well, since we do have about 11 in the server now, why don't... We run down the rosters. I'm going to go ahead and take team first. And I'm going to take the third seed. Classic mix-up over on Medic, as Yuki just told you, is Harblue. On the demo man position is Platinum, who made the switch finally in the end, as we all knew he would. Over on the scouts, we have Enigma and Squitter. No changes there, but the soldiers, ladies and gentlemen, two players who did not play during the regular season, have joined up with Mixup once again to repeat and reform the land championship team from last season. You have TLR on pocket and everybody's favorite, the fan favorite, the, the high flying seagull, Kaka himself over on Romer. Gonna have to pay attention to him, see what he can do. Uh, and that is your mix up roster. Yeah, and on the side of Exertus Gaming, XCS Gaming for short, not really that much shorter, there's only like what. It's the same syllables in the end, moving along. <laughs> we have the Fragile, Nick, the Fragile Liam. Probably, I don't know, the old man of TF2 almost. He's been playing this game for like 600 years. Leading the helm on the Medic. Badonski, the Demo Man, made the switch a couple of seasons ago. Been performing pretty well. I, I remember he was Scout before and probably like six other classes before that. But um, definitely a solid Demo Man. The two scouts are Decimate and Alpha. Alpha making the switch recently to scout as well. Alpha playing some demo man, that's a medic. And um, performing pretty well, but Decimate, probably one of the star scouts of this season. Just really strong performance. And finally, last but, last but not least, we have um, just some fan favorites as well. We have Rando, you know, the constant 300 health pocket soldier brick wall moving forward. And finally, we have everyone's favorite, you know, Fashion stylist, Mela, Mabla, whatever you want to call him. Sorry, my introduction was very drawn out, but you know, got to uh, hype up this game because it's a very going to be a very close one, hopefully. Now you said whatever I want to call him. I want to call him Mabla, if that's. If that, I mean, you said it was okay, so I'm gonna call him Mabla, um, and just protect myself now from future slip ups. But uh, like you said, very strong team over on the Exertus side, and during the regular season, Mix Up and Exertus had exactly the same win loss record, 12 to four. The only thing separating them was a 5-4 win Exertus had over Mixup. Of course, I put a little asterisk next to that because uh, Mixup weren't playing with this roster. They weren't playing with the championship roster. They were playing with Dave AC on Romer and Ninja Nick on Med. They've switched things up since. 
Uh, so you could say, and I will say, this is a much stronger roster. Um, but this is Viaduct, and Viaduct being the crazy melee chaotic map that it is, I think actually plays towards XDS's advantage. Now we've seen Mixup play very, very strongly on this map in the past, so I don't want to give it hard, but uh, their DM style, their aggressive play style, and their relentless pushes, uh, I believe it's going to help them on this map just a little bit. And uh, this map can tend to be pretty scrappy as we saw in the last game, so expect to see a lot of, you know, DM fast, you could say, but on the same token, you know, expect to see some teams, you know, just try and slow it down a bit, just, you know, push as a team. But um, you know, I see both sides, both sides of the coin for sure. Love to see some you know defensive sniper action as soon as one of the teams are uh, you know set up, especially you know mix up with their ever so popular you know I guess you can call it passive hold on this point. You know Tyler sitting up on that rock, uh, hard blue with him, and Platinum just sitting really far back. And I think Seagull sits on the hut, and the scouts just sit pretty. So um, hope you see some of that and just some defensive cannonballs. Once mix up get that point, that's just going to be a pain to retake. So. Ooh, I'm not going to be like the. I wouldn't like to play against Cannon Balls, to be honest. I hate those things. Very effective. Um, Platinum, of course, very good with them. Over on the XTS side, both scouts are very competent snipers. Both Alpha and Decimate can tear it up on Sniper uh, on a good day. So, as we do see, teams, I believe, setting up their classes have put Dot ready. And they will pick their sides, maybe, and get ready to head out to middle here. Um, so, why we anticipate that action. Anything else you want to throw out there about these two teams? Anything uh, on the power class side that's going to uh, turn it one way or the other? Uh, I, I don't know. I think, like, Viaduct being, you know, Demo Man Scout Map primarily, like, that's pretty even on both sides. I mean, I couldn't really give an edge to both teams on that side. Like, you know, Demo Man and Scouts, like, they're both very evenly matched. As we know, Platinum, very seasoned. Demo Man, like, made the switch, you know, a couple of seasons, like, quite a few seasons ago, and then switched to Pocket, and then to Demo Man, and then to Pocket, and then to Demo Man. But, um, you know, he's been a Demo Man at heart ever since that very first fateful switch. I can't even remember the season, so you have to excuse my poor history. Um, but I guess the deciding factor, though, will, in that case, lean towards the roaming soldiers, and as we all know, the fan favorite, the Brandon, the Seagull, Core Core himself is just going to Core Core all over the shop and, you know, tear havoc. But on that note, you know, Mela is a pretty you know, solid soldier himself. I mean, um, he made the switch to Roma a couple of seasons ago, I like to say, after playing Pocket, and he's been doing pretty well. You know, he used to start off being a bit heal heavy, but he, you know, transitioned away a bit into not taking so many heals. Probably still takes a bit, you know, too many heals to my liking personally. But, um, you know, that's just personal style, and we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But I don't know, like, this game is very evenly matched, like, on every side. I couldn't really just name a favorite right now. It really is, and that's something that's unique to this Season 16 ESEA line. Because in the past, it's always been, well, I say always, but maybe for the past five seasons, as we do see, we're getting ready to go live here. Now, let me just still pine for a quick moment. Uh, in the past, we've usually seen the Banny team versus the Platinum team, and the other two teams that land were just throwaway spot fillers. For the most part, I don't want to insult them too much. Uh, but this time around, we really have some gamers on all sides. And like you said, this one is going to be evenly matched. Uh, the players stack up class to class pretty, uh, pretty level there. So we're going to have to take a look. I am going to take the first mid, and I'm going to put it on to Platinum. Mix up Platinum back on Demo Man. Gets the middle. He is going to put out stickies onto the Red Scout. He sees the soldiers bombing up, so he's got those cannonballs high flying in the air. Both soldiers are going to be there, putting stab dick sticky damage into them. Alpha grabs the first kill onto Sky High. Hard Blue also dead, courtesy of Alpha. So Alpha going strong. Alpha with the third onto Platinum. Mela taking down a Seagull. And we had Alpha grab a fourth onto TLR, and it is a complete wipe. Yuki, Fragile, and Mela, the only casualties over on Red. Yeah, that was just extremely well played by Exodus. Like, they just took positioning so early. Alpha with a quick double kill, taking down a scout and a medic. Um, just well played by him, just mopping up that damage by uh, the rest of his team. And we've got an even uber situation on our hands, and mix up, love this. They're going to be pushing in, not wanting that point on Exodus' side too much longer. Soldier bombing in, I believe that is Mela, just flying way high, forcing Platinum back, not allowing him to do any damage. Meanwhile, Alpha taking down Enigma. Seagull, though, coming in from behind, taking down both scouts. Mona gets taken down by Platinum. That 
defense was completely thwarted by Mixup, and that is a team right in favor of Mixup. They lost their medic, but they don't really mind that so much. They're probably going to set up some form of fashionable fort hold, but nope, never mind. Platinum's just going to set up a weird sticky trap on the left. So just really strong, aggressive play by Mixup, just, you know, playing that DM game, just knowing their strength, and that is to just, you know, push aggressively as a team. Seagull putting the exclamation mark on that life by taking out the medic at the end there. But we can see XTS is all spawned up already and they are pushing back in. And this is where these two teams are going to match up in these little melee skirmishes. It's going to be very even. We're going to have to see who is the victor. In come XTS. It's a non uber battle and they bully mix up off the point. Seagull though and TLR going strong. Seagull taking out two of the fragile and Randall taking down the combo single handedly. I don't think it's time exactly yet to bring out the car cause, but my goodness, Yuki, he is going big. Yeah, I mean, just two perfectly placed rockets on that medic. Fragile wasn't even able to surf that, even if he tried his heart out. But uh, the scout's still in here, decimate, trying to get some love on there. Doesn't get those scouts in the end. Does get taken down, and the cap going for mix up. But this is going to be fast and frantic as Exodus spawns are already up. And they're going to be headed in here very soon because Platinum and Harbour both down. So no sticky trap set up, no healing business set up. But uh, uh, Seagull on this left part, just doing a bit of spam, using that original spam angle, seeing what he can do. Does have to jump away because he goes to get spotted and spam. But mix up still ten like tenderly poking this. They're like, no, we don't want to give this up too hard just yet, but eating a lot of spam. That is Tyler just having that hill beam. Probably needs to be getting towards that high ground, just you know, giving that hill beam towards Platinum and his scouts. And there we go, Enigma gets popped by Bronski. Bronski pipes the other scout just casually as you do. And that is three down in favor of Exertus. And Melee is actually behind trying to get a flank Harbu on 40 health with Platinum, and wow, that was just an absolute massacre, just in that little choke there. But I think Harbu is gonna get out in the end, so you know, good for Mixup to actually keep their medic alive, but that was just a massacre, and looks like Exodus are ahead in time right now, Bloodsire, so they're playing this extremely well. Exactly, a real solid hold from Exertus. They weathered the bomb from Mixup. Now they have to weather the Uber versus Uber battle. In comes the Seagull. He's already flying in the back. The look at him soar in the sky, flying all around. He draws so many eyes to his cause. Rando's gonna kill him. In comes Mixup in the meantime, and they pop Uber. Fragile is going to reciprocate, and the chains are coming out for both teams. Now we have Rando in the backfield collecting some health. Demo Man Donsky and the Fragile are on the point, trying to dissuade the blue members. Frags are going off. Decimate's going to grab Platinum. Enigma takes down Melee. I got my eye on Decimate, who's moving in on the blue members. Here he goes. Ah, a sniper kill from Alpha onto TLR, and still watching Decimate. He is running towards the Medic. Is he going to be able to get it in time? That Medic is at 69 HP. Decimate is going to decide to back up. Doesn't want to die from those stickies, but again... Yuki, look at all the time that XTS has collected. They are down to their last 30 seconds before they take the first round. Yep, and they're set up very firmly with that defensive sniper, so it's not going to risk either losing a player or just eating a huge body shot or headshot on someone as they push in here. Alpha, though, not really hitting much right now. Just kind of just poking a bit, plonking along a bit, trying to just get some log. Eats a long range sticky from Platinum. Misses the body shot on the medic. Sort of jumping in, adding some pressure on him. That is Tyler. And Nigma, Seagull getting three picks for their court. Alpha getting a nice fish on Tyler though, but their medic's down. But they're really not too concerned about that because, you know, they just need to cut the point and then they win. Scout coming in does kill Alpha with the help of Seagull as well. This demo man is an island. Volsky just extremely forward trying to do some brawling on his own, I guess. Decimate caught out of position as well. That was very sloppy play by Exodus, I thought. I thought as soon as they lost that cap, they should have just backed out and just regrouped. Yep. And then all they had to do was just fight and then force Uber. Then recap the point, and then they win. But I 100% agree. They just decided to keep keep throwing their lives out there. I mean, they saw the zeros in the clock. Maybe got a little greedy. In come the full bombs with the buffs, as they should have done all along. Badonski is going to go down. In comes Rando. Rando goes down. Mela goes down. Decimate goes down. It's a double kill from Platinum. And mix up are dug in on the point. They are now bleeding time. They are about to pass the one minute mark, and that's when if you are XTS, you have to start to worry. Of course, they did just buy themselves an Uber. So they will be an Uber versus Uber battle coming in now, Yuki. Yeah, but like, as I was saying earlier, mix up in that ever so favorable, you know, passive position that they love. Just that soldier, uh, that combo just on that cliff side. It's just so hard to break it, especially with the demo. Like, everyone's just so protected. And Seagull's got a good spamming as well. Uber's traded though on both sides, but not really much happening. Rando gonna be the first to do something, jump behind, trying to catch that scout. Enigma, nice right away. And good kills coming as opposed to the Seagull and Squid getting kills on Scout and Soldier. And Melee getting taken down as well, trying to get some stuff done there. 
But here we go. It looks like Bobowski re-entering, trying to get some love happening, maybe get the medic. But Harblu does live with almost full health, so not really a scratch on Harblu. So 12 seconds left on this timer almost, Bodzai. This is yep. looking pretty much like bad t territory for Xerxes right now. Very bad. XTS are in the danger zone. We can see the stickies all over the point, ready to dead on anybody who gets on it. Down goes Mela, who did try to do just that. Alpha left alive on the point. He is battling, kills the seagull. Now it's the medic demo combo. It's up to them. Only the medic left alive. That is not going to happen. Are there any spawners? Not even close. Decimate and Mela are going to spawn, but with the time being kicked away, they're not going to be able to get out to the point. And the first round, in heartbreaker fashion, goes to mix up. That was just a better post uber play by mixed up that I felt. I mean, I felt the ubers were decent on Exertus' side, but the post uber play was just so solid by mixed up, and that's something they're extremely renowned for just you know, collapsing as a team post uber and just getting some frags. But hold that thought, we've got a new mid fight in our hand. Platinum getting some good early stickies on just zoning those players out, but Seagull jumping behind, trying to draw some players to him. Meanwhile, Rando with the kill on the medic. Meanwhile, return kills coming in on some players in Exertus, and the medic does get taken down in that as well. Mix up getting the slightly favorable exchange, but Alpha, full health on this point, getting some cap time while meanwhile two players on mix up are behind him. Silo just jumping his head trying to get a kill on him, and with the help of Squid does take him down. So good play by mix up there, but this respawns are actually coming in. Melee trying to fly in as well with the help of Rando. Just getting in here. And there's still some cap point going on. This is extremely drawn out mid fight as looks like Platinum poking him from the right side on the cliff, destroying Rando, forcing him back, saying you get off this cap, this is ours, but never mind. Platinum does get destroyed by Bodonski. Soldier is jumping in, that is Seagull. All the eyes flock to him, as Enigma also does get taken down, and just, wow, just mix up, just trying to do as much as they can, just get as much of that out as they can. It didn't really matter so much that they overstayed their welcome, because that was the first cap, so yeah. nothing ventured, nothing gained. XTS won that by the decision making of Alpha. He stayed on the point and capped it so far that when Mixup finally killed him and got on the point, uh, they weren't able to revert it in time to start the cap. There was still some left over for Exertus to come in. They stole the cap from underneath of Mixup. Now they have the 32% Uber advantage and they are bullying out Mixup. There is a scout sky high onto Badonski. Badonski needs to stay alive here. Alpha with the SMG is pistoling him down or SMGing him down. Down sky high goes My Mela, Mabla, as we decided. It takes down TLR and Alpha with the shot onto. Enigma is going to give his team a four-man advantage. Alpha does go down in the end to Platinum, I believe. Nope, Mela goes down to Platinum, but Platinum went down too. Um, so Seagull still behind. Oh, okay. He's still behind. He's been there for like at least 30 seconds. Gets a medic. Uh, rocket on the medic for his troubles as well, but Mixup coming in after that. Seagull delaying them for the time of his life. And the Uber is used on Mixup's side. Enigma chasing and hard with this Uber advantage, as well as Tylap. Nice air rocket on Fragile, taking him out. I think we're going to be chasing this guy as well. Three kills in favor of Mixup. Player's going to be coming in trying to get some suicides in on Hard Blue. That's not going to happen. Does get to 70 health and complete team wipe in favor of Mixup. But it's their first cap of the round finally. But you know, you never know. This could probably just be a repeat of the last round, and Mixup will you know have a solid grip on this midpoint. The sniper's kind of working for XTS. He's able to get a pick with it. Um, but after that initial pick, Mixup doesn't care on their bombs, they're coming in anyway, and it looks like this residual players, just with all their pressure, is a little bit too much, and starts to domino effect XTS. We can see Mixup now in control of the point, ticking down their timer, have taken out both Decimate and Rando. Decimate's gonna spawn up, uh, but the Uber advantage is in their favor by about 25%. And they are ticking down their clock. We do have Platinum taking down Mela also. So as the red team, the Fragile and Badonski, I'm watching Badonski push out onto this point here, spamming stickies. Uh, they are going to have to play a little tentative until Mela gets up, and they are six strong. Uber now ready for the blue team, and mix up, knowing that, are going to get aggressive on the point, put as much damage as they can into the red members. We're gonna have to back it up and wait for this Uber here. In come the bomb, actually, from Randall. Randall with a nice double bomb onto mi uh, mix up Hard Blue. Hard Blue gonna be forced to pop by a nice coordinated bomb from Badonski and Decimate, but they lose three players in the process. The fragile Yuki is gonna have to back it out into spawn, and they're gonna have to reset when they have all their members and try to push out. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of agree with that. I mean, I'm usually not that much of a fan of suicides, but when you're in ahead on time, there's not really much bad with it because you know you've got the time to waste but, but as i say that seagull flying in trying to get some miracle damage done but instead he's just jumping around like a clown <gasps> oh my God, down to 7 hp 
Yeah, playing with fire there, I guess you could say. Exodus pushing to full force, and as I say, I just made, was actually taken down. And Seagull getting a pick on Melo as well, and Bedonski taken down as well. This is going to be disastrous for Exodus. They need to not overextend with this Uber, or else this is going to be pretty disastrous for them. Just get their medic out, but Seagull trapping the exit behind. Gonna take Fragile now with the nail. Get Seagull! That is. Him. That's just textbook Seagull, just, you know. Staying alive till the end of the post, uh, till the post Uber and just destroying the other team, nullifying their escapes. Absolutely tragic for XTS. They shot Harbu down to 7 HP. He was not able to heal or buff anybody. And XTS just beefed it. Weren't able to get in there and cause the damage. They had the buffs, they had the Uber. Uh, mix up doing a nice job of kiting it though. Now they are in control of the point and they are under a minute on the clock. Platinum is going to take down Decimate. Mela is going to kill a Seagull, though. And I got my eye on Mela, who's high flying in the air, but gets shot out of the sky by Sky High. Believe it or not, Mix Up still in control of the point. And I'm still watching Squitter, who's moving in along with Enigma. They take down Alpha. Now they are pushing in. It is all trouble for the red combo, demo combo right now, as the scouts are pressuring them back into their spawn. We have reached the 30 second mark, and down we go. About to hit 20. XTS need to get out here. They need to get their Uber up and get ready to fight. I think Rando just needs to realize, hey, you know, it's not always that good to pocket a soldier on this map because of the stupid angles. He just needs to get to the high ground with a bit of a buff and just kind of sit there and spam. Seems to be just taking far too much damage and that can be the reason, as I say that, both Ubers are popped, mix up popping the Uber a lot earlier, even trades on both sides, but no, as I say that, Seagull with the double kill, taking down the scout and demo man on Exodus' side, finally gets taken down by Mela. Alpha helping with the cleanup as well, getting some good kills, and the post Uber actually favoring Exodus. This cap is just in over right now. But how do Platinum, wow, I was just... Platinum Pla takes Platinum. down three of them, Yuki, with a fadeaway pipe and then residual damage onto that last member. It was medic on medic action. XCS were able to stay alive by capping the point, but Platinum going huge there, making sure that XCS cannot set up any form of a defense. And I believe Yuki would mix up, get their members up, and even now they're just going to come in and pressure XTS. Yeah, they're coming in because they still have that one minute to work with, so it's not a problem. Tyler just repeating the same stun he did to Bodonski earlier. Air shot him in the exact same area that previous Uber fight they had. And Scout behind on Enigma, cutting the Enigma rather. Coming in on Fragile, Rando, and uh, Squid helping kill Mela. And they're going to cap that point. And it just seems, I don't know, Exodus are getting good position, but they're just, you know, letting, letting the game get away from them, I guess you could say. Yeah, a few crucial mistakes in both rounds have really cost them uh, in that round right there. Platinum with a very good job uh, taking down a whole lot. But I'm going to switch it over to Badonski, give the red demo man some love on this middle. Sees the other demo man, puts stickies into him. Now he's spamming him over at the rock. Sees that soldier, so he's going to have to play hunt mode, try to make sure no one's jumping in his back to kill him. And he's pushing up on that medic. He's got a bead on two. A mix up medic, and he connects with a pipe. Harbu goes down. Decimate's going to connect onto Enigma. TLR is going to take Badonski out of the fight, and a Seagull and Tyler are going big on the point. Tyler collects another one on Decimate. A Seagull did go down, and it's only Platinum and Tyler, and it's no longer Tyler because Alpha is going to connect with a mini crit shot. But oh. Platinum says, "You can't have my, you can't have me. You can have my buddy, but I'm going to stay alive here and collect some health." But in the meantime, Yuki XTS have bought enough time to get out here and refight mid. Yep, they're just getting some hills up on their players right now. Bodonski taking a beating from Platinum right now. But uh, looks like Squid is the first one to fall. And Mela getting a pick as well on the hard blue. But Enigma coming in with a cleanup from behind. Finally gets taken out by Mela. The core core has arrived now, folks. And does get taken down after an abrupt kill. Only just on Mela. Getting a uh, revenge kill, actually. So, um, they're getting out rumored there. Just kidding. Seagull is the bomb. But, um,. Good Uber advantage for Exodus right now, and once again, they've kept that first point, but are we going to see a 3 peak? They're going to get to 130, and then Mixup are just going to hold the point for pretty much the whole game? Now let's take a look at Mixup's actions right now. They are moving under the cliff side with a significant disadvantage in Uber, so it really behooves them to just get out here and try to fight it and see what happens. Their, their medic dies, no big deal. In they come. Enigma takes some spam. Decimate's gonna clean up Tiger. Squad, Sky High moving in very aggressively. Puts some damage into Rando. Rando with 11 HP now needs to get uh, connected with this medic and that's actually gonna force the Uber. Uh. Three members do go down. Platinum and Seagull taking down Alpha and Rando. But Donsky going big, taking down both scouts. Platinum bombing in now. Let's see what he can do. On to Badonsky. Takes him out. Platinum with some good game sense there, realizing the demo man was all alone and pretty hurt. He's going to be able to start some cap time after he collected that frag. And once again, Yuki, Mixup have collected the point. Rando just forgot one of the most staple rules as Pokemon when you get Ubered, and that is 
When you're low health, don't chase super hard, especially out of range from your medic, because you're going to get destroyed as soon as you get out of that uber. But yep, huge uber advantage in favor of mix-up. That's about 65% right now. And that passive positioning, that mix-up that you love all too well, uber is used by Tyler, jumping in hard. Meanwhile, the flank by Seagull just forcing those players back. Tyler with the double kill on Fragile in the desk, uh, in deskmate rather, the deskmate. Uh, does get taken down by Rando if there's trouble. And Rando has actually switched to the gunboats for, I guess, a useful, um, switch but um does fail some rocket jumps gets a nice oh. air rocket on hard blue though so um maybe it was the faithful switch to gumbos which made the change now the uber advantage wasn't or the uber wasn't really building uh for exertus they're only at about 25 percent hard blue up in five seconds so it'll be semi-significant at about 40 35 percent advantage we do see that exertus are capping the point um but this is nothing that mix up can't surmount here as they do have the faster respawns, expect the bombs to be coming in any second. The red defense is playing on the point, so not an aggressive hold from Exertus. They are choosing to stay back a little bit, and right now it looks like the smart decision because Mixup are coming in with force. I got my eye on a seagull. Who else? It was over by the uh, the new little doorway over there. He's going to kill Alpha. Alpha was trying to get cheeky on him, and in come the Mixup frags. Let's take a look at Enigma, who's got a flank going on on the medic. That's going to force the pop now. Enigma onto the demo is going to force the chain. Enigma still in the backfield. Exertus are going to have to worry about that. They do have the point still, and they are at a minute 30, 30 seconds over the mix up. But Enigma left alive was a mistake because he is going to come in. And along with Seagull, they take down the remaining Exertus survivors. And mix up now have capped the point. Once again, Rando just making the same mistake. They were just chasing too hard with Uber when, you know, all is really lost. Like, they lost two or three players trying to do too much with Uber. And he gets killed. Like, pretty much as soon as Uber fades on him, even though he had a little bit of Uber left, just gets destroyed. And then his medic's in a bad position. But, um, not very good Uber play by Exodus. Like, some good post Uber play, don't get me wrong. The Uber play just not really quite there. Now we're flying and trying to get some suicide. Rando getting picked quickly by Platinum Stickies. Badonski getting killed as well. Not too much luck. And. I think Mixup lost a total of maybe a hundred health in that exchange. Platinum had really very nice stickies up on the rock by Cliffside over towards mid, and I guess he knew him being a soldier where the, the soldier would want to bomb off of to jump in onto his medic, and he had just stickies waiting on that on that wall. And as soon as Randall crossed that threshold, he did it, and down Randall went, uh, and, and they never had to deal with any of his his damage or his. Uh, his bombing capabilities, but uh, 60 seconds left on the clock for mix up. In come Exertus. Ubers are up for both teams. First frag is going to go to Sky High, who takes it onto Decimate. So already Exertus playing with a disadvantage. They need to get a kill and even things out here. The Uber is popped first for mix up, and Sky High is going to take down Vodonsky. So no demo. Alpha has spawned up on Sniper. So they are down in damage capabilities. Mela grabs one on Hard Blue. That is very significant. Now they need to keep their medic alive. This <laughs> fragile with 6 HP. He is fighting the world. 2 HP. He goes down. It's not looking good for Exertus here. Down goes Decimate. Only Alpha left alive with 103 HP being shot by everybody in the world. But Donsky also on the left side. But uh, they are all alone. Mix up in control of the point. They are about to reach 15 seconds. We're going to have one last push for Exertus here. Yeah, like just Exertus on the ropes right now. I mean, playing some decent rounds. But as soon as it seems to get to half of the cap time, it's just like, you know what? We're not going to really play as good as we were previously. And just not really making some good decisions. Melee getting some... Good picks, Pablo and Tyler, and does actually take Platinum down as well, but the rest of Mix come in, say, hey, we're around to clean up the rest of Exertus, gonna turn on the point, and cap it up. Oh my god, the Jesus. <laughs> that is so obnoxious. And that's 3-0 in the first half, but um, I don't know, just decision making on Exertus is just a bit sloppy um, at times, especially in these very critical uber fights. I feel just Rando chasing a bit too hard when... He really shouldn't be. He should either be backing out with his medic if it's a failed Uber, or if there are players behind, just using the Uber to go back and kill them. Like, because I think that last Uber fight they had, there were maybe two, three, two players at least, I'd like to say, just behind them. And they were just mopping up the rest of the team. And as soon as the Uber faded, the combo just got destroyed because those players were behind and Exodus were down players. So, not really looking good in this department. I mean, Exodus having some decent. No moments of glory, I guess you could say. Like just, I think, almost three rounds in a row. I'd like to say getting the first cap on the point, drawing it down to a minute thirty, but just kind of losing control of the game from there. Yeah, I think um, we're seeing a real reluctance out of Exertus to know when to back up or to just give up on a fight. 
Um, you don't want to lose bodies where you don't need to lose them unless you're sacrificing the medic. And we see a lot of times Exertus members, stray members from a fight, uh, not exactly going for the medic, but staying in to try to get a frag, when really the frag's not going to matter. Uh, you should just get out, get ready to get buffed by your medic, and go in as a force, and have a coordinated full bomb or full offense on the other team's medic, and get something going here. We see Mixup do that all the time. When they lose a fight, surviving members get out, they get buffed, and they come back in and force. But uh, Exertus failing to do that, and I believe that's hurt them, um, and they are now down. Uh, three rounds, or yeah, no rounds to three here. As we enter the second half, of course, Exertus are the second seed, so uh, I don't know if you'd call them the underdog, but Mix Up definitely showing they are forced to be reckoned with. Taking this first map so far with three rounds, looks like they're going to take it. Yeah, no, they're just playing really solid right now, and especially Exertus are just playing into Mix Up's hands, just especially. There you go, just getting behind the other team, either distracting them or just living long enough to just be able to do stuff uh, post-Uber fight, post-fight, whatever it is, and just get the cleanup. And if he's not doing that, he's just, you know, jumping in, doing some really good damage. And I've heard Platinum right now is doing 503 damage a minute. I mean, granted, this is, you know, a very strong demo man map. He's just, you know, probably having one of the games of his life right now. Yep. Um, if you guys are just joining us, if you were just on Twitch and you were randomly clicking buttons until you found this stream, well, welcome to the ESEA Orange stream. You are watching the ESEA LAN final tournament, where we have four of the very best North American TF2 teams battling it out for the championship title for a total $14,000 prize pot. They want their share of it. We have the second seed versus the third seed. Of course, XTS are down three rounds to zero. They need to figure something out here. And uh, what what can they do, Yuki? What, if you're Exertus, can you do in this downtime? Because we did see the Fragile say dot not ready. So maybe they're having a powwow. They're talking it over. They're reevaluating some strats. What is it? Because you, you're, you're the star player here. Tell me what you do. Well, as I was saying earlier, I just, I'm not... I'm not feeling their Ubers, I'm not feeling them, like, really at all. Like, as I was saying earlier, I feel Rando is chasing too hard in these Ubers. He's just, like, you know, trying to kill the medical or the demo man, which, you know, it's cool, it's great, yeah, kill the demo man medic, they're, like, important classes, but the thing, when, whenever I think about a lot of Ubers, the number one priority is, one, keeping, um, you know, me alive, two, keeping my team alive. Very important to actually keep your members alive because if you go off and kill their medic and demo, that, that's cool and all. But meanwhile, they could have two or three players behind your team killing the rest of them. And when it gets to the post uber, what then? Like, so the way I look at it is I always try and get to the post uber. If I have a good uber and kill like a thousand players, that's cool. But get to the post uber, play it from there. And like, I'm not exerts, like, they're, they're a strong team, like, strong DMers. Like, they shouldn't really be making these scrappy decisions, they should just be, you know chilling, slowing down, taking their time, just getting to that post-Uber fight and just work off that. Because, like, mixed up just seem to be breezing through these Uber fights and post-Uber fights just because they just seem to, you know, not really be making the right decisions. Yep, as we do see, the teams are finally pressing dot ready. They've revisited the respawn room and they're going to get ready to go live. Here there is the green text of awesomeness. So we are going to enter the second half. Reminder that Mixup need only one more round to take the map and head on to that second map, whatever it might be. I'm going to take a look at... Who am I going to take a look at? Rando. Let's take a look at Rando on this middle, who's jumping over by that rock side. Sees a soldier drop bombing his way. Puts a rocket onto that scout. That scout's very hurt, trying to clean up on him. 8 HP. Rando's going to get that shotty kill onto Sky High. Still going. Sees Tyler in the backfield. Tyler takes him down. Blue team are on the point, but they are going to have to... Remember that TLR at 20 HP is in the backfield. Can anybody kill him? Got to send a scout to get him because he's at 17 HP. Oh, and Tyler's going to connect with a prediction rocket onto Alpha. Still alive with 8 HP. He's going to meet up with his medic. I can't believe it, Yuki. And that's going to allow Mixup to cap the point and have Uber advantage. Yeah, that was just, just textbook play by Mixup. I mean, see, all got behind, did some distracting. Didn't even have to get a kill. He just distracted the other team, wasted their ammo. And the rest of the mix-up just walked over the other team. Like, obviously, give respect to I'll hold that for Mail of flying and trying to get a force out. Not really having much luck. Does get absolutely destroyed. Jumps himself to 18 health. Seagull jumps behind. Does kill Alpha with a sniper. And that is just clean defense by mix-up. I think, once again, probably lost about a total of 150 health just then. And just, I think, some high fives or something going out. 
squid dancing around like a clown. <laughs> if you, and if um, you're, pushing on the left side. Yeah. If you're wondering why everybody on XDS just died, and that was a planned play. That was a bomb just to try to get the pop out. Uh, it didn't happen, so now both teams do have Uber and in come Exertus. Uh, they did have to pop a little early, so mix up have the advantage in this Uber fight. And I'm watching TLR, who's on the hunt, still getting chained with that Uber. Exertus really being pushed to that back foot. Frags are being traded, but mix up getting the better of it. Three down for Exertus, and we have Scouts Enigma in on the combo. Platinum's gonna take down the Fragile. Platinum takes down a second on Vodonsky, and Enigma's gonna clean up on Alpha. In comes Decimate to try to get some exit frags on people trying to leave, but uh, it's not to be should note that Enigma is chilling on that right side. He might get caught out here from Rano, but he thinks better of it. Has 57 HP, is going to come back to the point, and we're going to reset here. That's a bit better by Exodus. But, um, Yuba was right, Rando jumped behind, helped Melo a bit, and just tried to draw the other players back, and then collapsed on the other team post Uber. But hold that thought, Melo just flying behind. Vodonsky with a nice pipe actually on Enigma. Alpha does get taken down in return, and Platinum does get taken down as well, so good frags in favor of Xerdas actually, but Seagull just behind, being absolute pest spammy. What are we going to do? He's going to watch Sky High, trying to get that man, he oh, gets him with God. three shots, well played by him, and that's just going to pretty much flush all of Xerdas' good efforts down the toilet, as he's not going to be flying in here soon, cleaning up. Enigma trying to take a duel with that scout, that is Decimate, comes in Platinum. Extremely arrogant position there, trying to fly in there, kill that scout as well, who was low, but, you know, not necessarily a favorable fight for Demo Man, a scout against Demo. But hold that thought, Alpha sniping here up on this China side, eyeing the medic, doesn't get a body shot off on him, but Squid, just, I don't know, getting this good positioning, coming and cleaning up, mopping that soldier, is he gonna die? Does take him down, getting towards this high ground, trying to pressure this sniper, but Alpha's already dropped back, and mix up, cap that point ex back extremely quickly at Bloodsire. Yeah, right now we do have uh, the Ubers leveled out, but you gotta believe it would be in XCS's favor had not Exertus just whiffed it on the Fragile. They weren't able to protect him. He went down in like a group of three people. He can't have that, but uh, XCS are trying to get something going here. Melee gets an entry frag onto Enigma. Platinum cleans up Adonsky though, so no demo for Exertus. Alpha now fighting a soldier. He's gonna get the SMG kill on him with low health. Exertus now have the momentum to take this cap. You see Melo at 17 HP desperately calling for an arrow and the Fragile hits it. So in comes the pop from Mixup. Do have Melo though in the backfield along with Rando. They are going to be able to cause havoc at the tail end of this Uber. And Decimate's causing havoc right now. He's able to get on Hardblue and take him down. Now the soldiers are in play. Melo's going to take down Sky High and Mixup are going to spawn up and try to come in here. Uh, but they weren't able to cap the point. Do you see Badonsky and Alpha over on the left side. Mixup just scattering around trying to assess the situation. They do have the bodies, Yuki, and they're going to be able to push on to mid. Yeah, just a much better post over fight. We're finally seeing some good signs out of Exertus. Just those soldiers getting behind, causing some havoc, and then cleaning up post over. All that thought, mix up flying in here, bullying the hell out of Exertus, forcing him out. Badonsky gets taken down. Meanwhile, I think Seagull is a bit behind too, just jumping around, calling around the place. Spamming this soldier, that's melee, getting some good damage on them. Two bodies down for Exertus, so they're going to just be waiting for those spawns, but. The time is definitely not on that side. That it's now 24 seconds and counting for in favor of Mixup and Exertus still trying to push despite their full team not here just yet. Uh, look at these defensive stickies by Platinum, just being absolute pest. Doesn't even want to do damage to them. Just wants to waste the other team's time. Well played by him. Rando flying in, trying to get some good stuff done. Does force Uber out, but does get taken down for his troubles unfortunately. Desmate taken down as well. Melee is behind, but for what? Alpha does get a kill on Seagull. Collapsing, that is the scout and Roma for Exodus, but they do, both do get taken down in the end, and only Mixer, uh, Platinum and Seagull get taken out, and these stupid taunts coming out. And that is yep. clap, clap and well on played. the point. Yep, clap, clap on the point for Mix Up. Uh, they take it in very convincing fashion. With now you wouldn't call it a roll, but if you just look at the score sheet, it's a 4 0, so I guess it's a roll. But we will be heading to the second map. Um, last time we saw Viaduct and then Snakewater. This time we will have to wait and see. Is it, is it gonna be Snake Water again? I don't know. No one tells me anything. But uh, a very strong showing from Mixup. Yeah, I mean, like, Xerdas are definitely not behind in the DM front, don't get me wrong. Like, the players are quite evenly matched in the DM department. I just felt Mixup, just their experience, their decision making were just overall so much stronger than Xerdas, and that's just what prevailed them, especially in those 
the Uber and post Uber fights, just Tyler wasn't chasing super hard, trying to like chase the medic and demo instead. He was just being a bit more solid, you know, getting those frags on the players on the flank, like the scouts and the Roma, just getting those easy frags. Meanwhile, on the Xerxes side, unfortunately, they were just, you know, trying to do too much with Uber. When, you know, if you're trying to do too much with Uber, that's when you start making mistakes and, you know, you end up doing nothing. Just, you know, stick to the basics and, you know, just do one thing at a time. But um, unfortunately, they do not end up getting any rounds. It was funny that last round was kind of a reverse of the previous rounds where Exodus would, you know, get the cap first, get to 130, and then lose it. It was actually mix up that got to 130 first and almost held it to like, I think, a minute. So that, that was very interesting to see, just mix up, just getting a bit more in control of those uh, scrappy fights. Now, Viaduct, not the normal standard format for TF2. It is only one point with a timer. Um, so that could have lended to Exertus' poor decision-making, maybe lend to more of their scrappy gameplay. Uh, you got to assume that we'll be heading to a five-point CP, which is much more vanilla and standard for competitive TF2. So we're going to have to see how they fare there. But whatever they go to and whatever they do, they're going to have to make sure that they keep mixed up scouts in check. They had both of them above 300 DPM, which is just insane. I mean, Viaduct and any DM heavy map is going to be pretty scout sided, but you can't have scouts who are just running away with it with about 300 damage a minute for both of them. That's, that's insane. So, uh, Exertus need to have better handle on that. And, uh, and, and yeah, yeah, that's what they need to do. Yeah, I mean, it was cool that Exodus were, you know, trying to run the sniper a bit, and it did kind of work in some situations, but I felt Alpha wasn't doing enough to really justify the swap. You probably should have um, just stayed scout. I mean, like, if you're headshotting everything, sure, stay sniper, or if, like, you're cons consistently hitting at least body shots, sure. But, and I felt it was just kind of like, he was like a one-hit wonder as sniper, so to speak. I mean, he is a pretty decent sniper, but, you know, like, if you want to run a sniper on Viaduct, you don't run a one hit one, but you run someone that's like, you know, it's going to be solid and just play around that. But it was good that they tried it. But um, just looking at the stats, I can just see Rando had 30 deaths, so he almost top death the game, only three behind his Roma. And he only had 16 frags and came uh, almost like second, third, third in damage on it. No, second or third in dam of damage in his team. Maths is hard. Um, that's <laughs> not exactly a very good performance. I mean, I, I, as I was saying, he was just trying to chase with Ubers too hard. He needed to just, you know, play a bit solid. And I felt he was also taking way too much damage and healing. He just needed to, you know, take his buff, get to the high ground, do some spamming. Then if he wants an Uber, he drops down, gets his crit heal, jumps forward, does the damn damn, and lives. But I just felt he just overextended way too hard. Hopefully we see a better performance from him in this next map, because I know he's a Solid player, got some really good DM on his side, and you know, he needs to play like that, not really like as sloppy as he was playing in this map. Yeah, and just to put that in relief against the mix-up side, if you take a look at TLR, the pocket for that team, he's 27-17. and 17. Um, And his damage isn't that much greater than Rando, uh, but just staying alive is such a huge benefit to your team because that means you're not taking the damage, the heals can go elsewhere, and if you switch it over and look at a Seagull, the Roamer, he had 35 and 24 with 336 damage done a minute, and that's insane. I mean, he's he, he's in the backfield. Uh, you would imagine he'd be the first one to die, not to be the case, uh, doing a whole lot of work. So you could really say that the, the difference for mix up there are their scouts and their roamer. You got to believe they're working in tandem. The roamer comes in, turns all those eyes, then the scouts come in, follows up on the damage, gets the kills, stays alive to fight another day. Um, so we are waiting a word on what map we will be headed to next. I can't wait. Um, certainly, these two teams are, uh, are, 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 we kind of said, evenly matched after that one. It didn't seem so so much to be the case, but I do believe, Yuki, on a 5-point CP, these guys are going to fare a bit better, and I'm just so excited anticipating what that map's going to be. Yeah, no, I mean, just getting that warning connection problem, auto disconnect. No, I'm in the wrong server, clearly, so I guess we're just waiting to see what map it is. Is it going to be Snakewater again? Yeah, I don't know. See, I don't. I'm not entirely sure how the picking of the maps uh, has been decided. I mean, we did see Viaduct as the entry map for both rounds, so I don't know if there's predetermined maps or if it's a I'll pick one, you pick one, you eliminate one situation. Uh, should know that. I don't. Maybe someone in chat knows that. Maybe one of our um, someone working the the production side knows that. But while we have a gap in some time here, I'm gonna go ahead and and re. Um, 
re... I guess I'll say pimp. I don't want to say it, but I will because I can't think of a word. So uh, you guys are watching the ECA Orange Stream. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We will be giving you five matches today. There's going to be five of them, five best of threes. Tomorrow will be the grand final. So if you're prepared to see a whole lot of Team Fortress 2, you've come to the right place. Of course, we are bringing you the live action from the ESEA LAN Championship, which is happening currently live down in Dallas. Uh, for the very best teams, you have Froyo Tech, Exertus Gaming, Mix Up, and Street Hoops are all trying to win their share of the $14,000 prize pot, the biggest prize pot for TF2 as of yet, so that's exciting. And uh, thanks for tuning in with us. Like we said, as soon as we get word on what map we will be playing on next, we will go there and we will talk about things. And uh, I just can't wait for it, Yuki. Yeah, it's going to be great. Hopefully we'll see a really close second map because I definitely want to see a third map out of these teams. Yeah, well, you know what? I think just about at this point, I'm at my wit's end with uh, plugging things and that kind of stuff. So why don't we go ahead, shoot a quick break, um, give you guys some sweet commercials, some awesome messages, and then we'll come back and get ready to give you guys all the fun TF2 action.